Hi, I'm Wendy Thomas with All Is Strength Ministries, and I am here over at the Community United Methodist Church, and we're here to um, pray with people. Right? Praise be to God. Okay, I brought some stuff for everybody today. How's everybody? Jesus loves you. Praise be to God. Okay, cool. All right, I got. I brought. Bedhead shampoo, who wants it? Hell yeah. I got shampoos, and I got lotions, and I got a whole bunch of stuff. I need lotion. Okay, come here. Good stuff. Lotions, and here you go. Heck yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's. See, there's. Um, or that's. Okay, here we have shampoo, we have conditioner. Thank you. I have hairspray. There you go. Okay, so this is what this is what Jesus is about. Jesus is about giving. Today he had me get everything out of the house. Today and it's time to give. So shampoo. Thank you, honey. Look, we have lotion. Oh, and this is. Look, this is for the guys. Look what I have, guys. Here. Look. Here's some matrix conditioner. Who wants matrix conditioner? Okay. So look, I got some bags for everybody here. Bags. I know they all like them. Like this is great. Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, God. Who needs a little bag? Go carrying that. Miss, is this yours? It's for you. I'm giving out a phone today. Oh, I just didn't want you to leave it in here. Yeah, you can have the phone. I'm passing out a phone. Yeah, here. I don't have a charger for it. I, I, I don't have a charger for it, but it's yeah. still in there. Okay, so I have one more bag. I need Anybody? Bag. Yeah, please, I need a bag. Okay. Thank so, you. all right, and look, I have a a heart. I have a heart bracelet. Okay. So there we go. All right. So right now we are. No, that was the last one. Hey, how are you? You know Jesus loves you. More than anything, Praise be to God here. There you go. There you go. How are you? I get to hug you. Aw. You see this? See, this is what this is what loving Jesus is all about, right here. Right here. Is just hugging him. Saying Jesus loves you. Right? Hey, Jesus, loves Jesus loves you. Okay, so I'm passing out some more stuff. I'm passing out books and Bibles today. I got a whole entire I got a whole entire bag full of Bibles. I got Bibles right here. I have um, Abundant Life. I have uh, the Message Bible. I have Bibles here. I have um, books. I have Psalm 91 books, prayer books. They're all here for everybody to have. All right, praise be to God. Well, if you all don't know me, I'm going to tell you about myself. My name's Wendy. All is Strength Ministries. I carry this cross every day. Praise be to God. Lift the camera up more. All right. And and we are... Um, I'm, I'm here to tell you what God can do for you. Okay? God totally healed me, set me free. God is love. That's all he is. His love is extravagant towards you. He wants above all things for you to prosper and to be in good health. Okay? Jesus loves you. More than what you love yourself. You know, we aren't going to take what people have said about us, and that's not going to matter. Okay? We're going to take what God says about us. And God thinks you're special, you're the apple of his eye, you're the righteousness of God. And he says, today... Today is the day, thus saith the Lord, for a new beginning for you. He wants, he wants you to be happy. He wants you to be healthy. He wants you to know what being free is. Who the sun sets free is, he is free indeed. Right? So please, praise be to God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, tell you all that the Lord radically healed me from depression, alcoholism, and verbal abuse all my life. And then he took leukemia cancer out of me. All right? He did that just so that I could be on these streets. And so I can tell you that God is real. He is alive. 
All that you have to do is invite him into your heart. And he can do all things, but he cannot fail. He cannot fail. Who, who here wants to prosper today? Raise your hand. Who wants to go, who wants, um, you know, something? Here, follow me. No. Who wants, um, you know, I mean, we all, we all want better for ourselves, right? Huh? We want to prosper. You know, I, I, I feel like, um, you know, the Lord, the Lord sent me here because he has a word for you all. He said, he says, he, Philippians 4.13, I can do, do all things through God who strengthens me. If you're born again, do you know what happens when you invite Jesus in your heart? You get the Holy Spirit. That is the, that is, you get the raise, you know, when you get the Holy Spirit, the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead lives inside of you. He lives inside of you. And you know, he loves you. He thinks about you more than there are grains of sand on every ocean, on every beach. That's a lot, right? That's a lot. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to pass these. Can I pray for you, man? Sure. Can you for your... You need a new hit. I need a new hit. It's all my hips. I need a new life. A new life? No, Jesus is ready. Come over here. Huh? A new life. Oh, he's, he's ready. It's simple. See? You want a new life too? Okay. This is what every... Whoever wants a new life, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. It's simple as this. You invite him into your heart. It's the seed. God is a seed. He gives you the increase. He gives you every single thing that you need. He is the one who's equipped. <laughs> Say, Lord Jesus, you died on the cross for me. Forgive me for my sins. And come into my heart and help me to see you clearly. In the name of Jesus, hey, beautiful. And see, look, he's always inside of you. Hey, how are you? I need to pray for you. Here, come over here, darling. Get close. <laughs> We're going to get some prayer. How about if I pray for all of you? All right. This is going to be a, this is going to be a slam slam dunk. Say this. Come in. Right. Right. Hold on to my hands, everybody. I'm joining mm -hmm. in, sister. Join in. All right. Thank you. Amen. I pray for all these people right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Prosperity, favor over them. Come over there. There we go. All right. I pray. I pray favor upon them, Lord. I pray that you heal every single part of them, the soles of their feet and the tip of their head, Lord, that you make everything brand new, Lord. Father, you're, you're a God of covenant, Lord. You're a Father of new beginnings, Lord, that the past is gone right now. I sweep it from their memory right now in the name of Jesus. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, you died on the cross for me. Forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and help me to see you clearly. In the name of Jesus. I pray, I pray, and give me your Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, and I'm just going to say a prayer for every one of you, addiction and depression gone right now, in the name of Jesus, yes, it has to leave, right now, that happiness multiplied unto you, no weapon formed against you ever prosper in the name of Jesus, jobs, right, isn't that good news, let's get a job, yeah, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I have plenty. Yes. <laughs> it won't even like you, Lord. Lord. All right, so, so thank you, yes. Lord. Hedge of protection, no weapon formed against them will prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise Amen. be to God. There's Bibles over here. Everybody grab a Bible. All right. Oh. So how are you doing? All right. How are you? Do you know Jesus? Loves you. You live here in Daytona? Yeah, for a long time. I got three. One from Cartney, too, girl. Okay. 11 years. That's awesome. How are you? You got Jesus? That's hair, dude. <laughs> Look at his hair. How are you? How are you? Hey. Jesus loves you. You know Jesus? Hey. How are you? 
Trying to get used to the air, it's all good though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's he, cool though. He's gonna give you new lungs. Then you don't have to worry about the air. Right. Well, Praise no, I, be to God. All, has, all it has to be is just me getting used to it. I'll be all right. <laughs> just keep on breathing. That's haircut. Okay. And, and I have to calculate it over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Come here. Um, oh, no. oh, no. All right, so so the Lord's going to give a word today. I came here for a word. Okay. It's so wonderful how it's easy with God. If you ask, you receive. Right? Seek and you find. Knock and the door will be open for you. He makes everything simple. Everything very simple. See? Because his, because his work is already done. He died so that we could live and be set free and have a wonderful life. So let's see. We're going to read something out of the Bible here. The Bible is... Look. This is the seed. We need to read the Bible every day. This is important. So, so important to have the Bible and the Word of God in our lives. So he wants to read to you today. And he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Being born again born again is inviting Jesus in your heart, just like you all did, right? So you can only see the kingdom of God by doing that, by inviting him into your heart. And look, we read the Bible, and we try to do good. Look, he works in us, okay? See, I tell you, you know, we got to tell the darkness to leave, you know that? Sometimes, see, look, the devil can only come, stand over here, darling. The devil can only come through through um, thoughts, suggestions. He goes through your mind, right? He's got to get through your mind. If you don't let him in your mind, he can't do anything. Because whatever you think about is what you're going to do. See? Whatever you think you are is what you are. Stand over here, darling. See, whatever you think you're going to become is what you're going to become. So, he says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And whatever you speak is what you're going to get. So, I always speak, you know, I'm rich, right? I'm young, I'm in good health, I'm prospering, I can have all things. See, we have to stay, we have to um, stay clean of his, his promises. His promises and in his, in his inheritances are our, all ours to just say give it to me lord give me your prosperity give me your give me your life give me your will and what you want for my life look he his will is better than our will his understanding is better than our understanding isn't that good that somebody thinks better than we do that's good news because i didn't think good for a lot of years you know and when I realize that his ways are better than my ways, I wake up every morning going, what do you want to do with me? Because when I say, when I wake up and I say, Lord, what do you want to do? I know that I'm not going to go wrong. I know I'm not going to get, you know, steered in the right direction. See, I have to fix my eyes on it. He says you have to fix your eyes. And don't, don't, look, you can't look backwards and then walk forwards or you're going to fall, Right? So he wants us always to um, stay focused ahead, read the Bible, thank him. We have to thank him all the time. Say, thank you, Lord, for all you're doing, all you're going to do. When you start saying that, I tell you. And he's going to hug you every day. He hugs me every day. 
I mean, literally hugs me. You know, I've never felt love in my life. You know, I was verbally abused, never had people love me. Anybody here, and Project now, Access or a haircut? And now I feel that he loves me. Project you know, Access it's or just a haircut? Awesome. So anyway, I'm going to take this time right now and just, you know, invite Jesus into your heart because he is the truth, the life, and the way, and the only way, and he loves you more than anything. He wants above and beyond all things for you to prosper. So just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me for my sins, and help me, Lord, to see you clearly, and give me your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. God bless you all.